Today we're going to take a look at an international ration. This one here was very generously sent to me by Gundog4314 and it is a uh, Lithuanian military ration. This is going to be my first time opening one of these and if you want to see more reviews on Lithuanian rations I know that Gundog himself and Kiwi Dude have both done reviews on these. So as I said this is a Lithuanian military ration. It's uh, it's kind of the same appearance as a US MRE, similar packaging, uh, similar size. The green plastic is wrapped in, doesn't have any markings on it, no printing on it, nothing stamped into it. The only thing it has is this one white sticker. It says uh, Sausus Davinius, which I had thought was something about the menu, but it actually stands for dry ration apparently. I don't speak or read Lithuanian, so a lot of this doesn't really mean anything to me, but I can see it's uh, variant number four, or I'm going to kind of call it uh, menu number four. I don't know if it's variant or variation number four. But um, let's see, we also have a telephone number here, which uh, I don't know where that goes to. And it is an NSN number, which for U.S. rations and other U.S. things, it stands for a national stock number. Obviously, this isn't from the U.S., uh, and I had to look this up, and it actually... NSN also stands for a NATO stock number, so that's what that is there. The two most useful bits of information I found on here were that it has 1,495 kcals, so it does actually have a calorie count on it. And considering that, uh, I'm under the impression this is somewhat less in uh, components than a genuine US MRE, it's quite a, quite a good amount of calories, 1,495. And then probably the most important thing, I can't read what this is, but it's definitely a date of June 30th, 2015. And since I'm filming this before that date, obviously it wasn't a packing date, so this would be the best buy date. Now, as I mentioned, this does have a look similar to US MRE, so we might as well go ahead and make a comparison. You can see they're about roughly the same size, similar in weight. The uh, Lithuanian one seems to have a little bit less in it, it's a little bit skinnier than the standard US one. Of course, there's variations between uh, all the different menus in the US one. Some will have more and some will have less, but it seems like there may be a little bit more in here. It also looks very similar to the old brown bag US MREs. Even closer in look to those, and probably closer in size too. Looks like it may be a little bit, a little bit thicker than the old one. Thicker than the old one and thinner than the new one. But um, kind of a similar look overall. And it is a single meal, so it kind of makes sense it would be about this size. And since I've never had one of these before, never had any experience with them, I'm also going to go ahead and weigh this and just uh, compare that to the US MREs. And this weighs in at 1 pound 8.3 ounces, or 690 grams. And this US MRE, menu number 4 pork sausage patty, weighs in at 1.36 ounces, or 554 grams. So that means the Lithuanian one is actually a little bit heavier than this. And this is one of the lighter of the US ones because it has the pork sausage patty, which is smaller than the standard 8 ounce entrees. So it looks like overall they're pretty similar in weight. And now we'll go ahead and check out the contents of this one. This uh, bag here doesn't have a peelable seal like the US MREs have. It does have this little notch at the top where you can tear it, which is exactly the same as the old US brown bag ones. And do the same thing where you just tear it right off. Just to keep from making too much of a mess, I'm going to go ahead and slice this with a knife instead. Alright, let's see what is in here. Uh, it definitely looks like a little bit less than a US MRE. Oh, and there's no uh, endless ration here. I was actually kind of expecting to see one in there. But, okay, well, here's our... This must be the entree. Just It's in a cardboard box similar to US MREs, except that it's just uh, plain white with no writing on it. Let's tape close. Ah, interesting. Here's the... Uh, is hidden, is the famous ration either. Alright, so we have... Ah, this is something I was definitely hoping to see. 
I don't, as I said, I don't speak or read Lithuanian, but um, ah, here it is. This is actually uh, has all the information on the ration, including in English, which is going to be a huge help. So here we have the entree. This is uh, looks like it's 240 grams, so it's pretty similar in size to an eight ounce uh, US MRE. This has uh, it's like uh, July 12, 2015, as a uh, Best Buy date. So I guess there's a little bit more time than we had on the uh, on the front. And let me see, this one it doesn't say what it is. So I'm gonna have to check out on here. This is stewed pork with grotas and sauce. I believe that's stewed pork with groats and sauce. And groats certainly isn't the most appetizing of words, but uh, I believe that's like um, kind of like uh, wheat berries. It's like unmilled uh, wheat or oats, uh, some kind of a grain. So uh, a little bit healthier, I guess. So it's um, stewed pork and sauce with um, those groats. And so I have hazelnuts. Luckily, that's in English too. Here are some crackers or biscuits. Uh, very hearty, very thick. I'm going to get four of these. Do they have caraway seeds in them, from what I've read. And here's our English ration heater, which is uh, in English. That's nice. Uh, I don't know if that would be a problem for a Lithuanian to have it only in English, but it'll certainly help me. And it seems to be pretty similar in usage to a U.S. one, so that should be hopefully be an easy thing to uh, figure out. It does have instructions here. Oh, and here it is in Lithuania. Uh, I better open this pack here because this has my English translation card in it. There's a little Ziploc bag. We have a chocolate bar. There are two chocolate bars in here. There's kind of a date code on there. Here is what I'm guessing is honey. Oh, very hard honey. And we also have oh, black china tea. Here's a Lemon flavor instant drink. And interesting on here, it does say without sweeteners. They, uh, I've seen in some of the other reviews uh, that they say that this they, they thought it was too watered down or that it didn't have much taste to it. But apparently, it's um, even though it's uh, lemon flavored, it's non-sweetened, which is uh, good to know ahead of hand because you do get a uh, pretty good size 12 gram uh, pack of sugar. So I could put some of the tea and I could save some for the uh, lemon drink. All right, and then we have, this would be, so the stove. So this comes with a flameless ration heater and a stove. So you have an option of heating up your water in addition to heating up your entree in the flameless ration heater. This is a very, very lightweight stove. Obviously it's gonna be put one of these in every ration. They're gonna be pretty, uh, I don't wanna say flimsy, but uh, purposely flimsy. Here's another Ziploc bag with the, um, looks like this is mainly stuff for the heating. And I have the spoon. Not very hearty. Some fuel tabs. nap or a moist towelette, hand sanitizer, box of matches, and a little zip tie. It does mention that on here, it's a strap for package tightening. Uh, from what I've uh, been able to read, it sounds like, um, this is uh, obviously pretty small, but it sounds like it's meant for when you're done and you're ready to get rid of the stuff, you put all your trash into the bag and then you can um, use a zip tie on it so the, so the uh, trash doesn't fall out when you throw it out. 
So here are all the contents. Want to see any information I may have left out? And that's our Lithuanian military ration. All right, and here's all the contents. Looks like a pretty good meal. Not getting a ton of stuff. Uh, you have your good-sized entree, and you have the crackers and the honey, the hazelnuts and the chocolate bars. And you do have a couple beverages with the lemon flavor instant drink and the black tea. And it did kind of surprise me that the front of the bag shows that this has 1,495 calories, almost 1,500 calories. But I'm taking a look at these things. You can see the entree does say it has 232 calories. It's actually not too much for, for this, but uh, the surprising things are the biscuits or crackers. Those apparently have 382 calories. And the hazelnuts have, get ready for this one, 658 kcals. That's a, a big chunk right there. And if I'm reading this right, it looks like the chocolate bars have 514 calories. Right there. I don't see anything on the honey. And so of course this meal does give you two ways to heat things. You get your flameless ration heater, and you do get a little cooking stove here. But since they do give you the entree in a retort pouch, they don't want you putting that over a fire. So I guess that's why they give you the two sources, the flameless ration heater for the entree, and then the stove for heating up water for the tea. And in looking at the instructions on the flameless ration heater, I can see that the principles are pretty much exactly the same as a US FRH. About the only real difference I see is that there's no need to put it on a rock or something. Apparently you just leave this horizontal. And this actually uh, comes with not only with a flameless ration heater that doesn't say who it's from. There's no company or country information on here at all. So it's pretty generic. But uh, not only do they give you this with the English instructions, they also give you an instruction sheet in both English and Lithuanian, which actually gives you two different methods to use. Method one is the standard, as we've seen with the regular Flemish ration heater, where we put the entree inside of the bag. And method number two, you do basically the same, but you activate the bag and just put the entree on top of that, inside of the box. So I think we're going to go ahead and do it the old-fashioned way and put it inside the bag. So we'll tear the top of the bag. Slide the entree inside on top of the heating elements. This actually gives you a specific amount of water to add, which is sort of nice. It says they add 60 milliliters of water, but they do give you a fill on if you can't measure it, obviously. It's a little bit below the line, but it should do. Pull the top, and this actually gives you, it doesn't say anything on here, but it actually gives you a little piece of tape. You can fold it over and put the tape on there. And then you're supposed to leave it horizontal get the water into the heating elements, which it looks like it did that pretty quickly. It only has two large heating elements instead of the four small ones like the US MREs have. And I can feel it starting to bubble in there, so we'll put that back into the box. And we'll just leave that horizontal to heat up. Sounds like it's working. Whoa. Got some steam. Thanks. All right, that's definitely uh, <laughs> that's definitely working pretty good. It has a different smell than the uh, US MREs. Not quite as unpleasant. I think it's really shooting out some steam. Very impressive.
All right, so while that heats up, I'm gonna boil up some water for the tea. For that, we are gonna use our rock or something. All right, so the little package for the stove says to bend it. Like this. And we'll put, uh, let me just use one heating tablet on this, see how it goes. Okay, that appears to be going. So I'm gonna put a pot with a little bit of water on here, as long as it can handle that weight. Looks like it's okay. And while those heat up, we'll check out what else we have. There's our hazelnuts. Plain hazelnuts, not salted or anything. These are crackers or biscuits. You can see the caraway seeds in there. Very hearty. There's the honey. Which has solidified. Wow, that spoon is not very uh not very sturdy. All right, I had to break out an actual genuine MRE spoon to get into this honey. And of course, honey is kind of like the ultimate survival food in that it never really goes bad. So let's see if we can spread this out on here a little bit. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. But... the bars. So the biscuits can go in here. So good. Smell good. Start dark chocolate. The lemon instant beverage calls for 600 milliliters of water. And this is very, very much crystallized. The same as Gundogs was in Kiwi Dudes. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be or if it's just uh, over time it gets like, like that kind of appearance, but. It smells very much like lemon. It smells kind of like a lemon-scented uh, dishwashing detergent more than a drink, but it definitely has a, a nice, uh, strong lemon smell. Let me get that mixed up. I'm going to take quite a bit of stirring. There's definitely still a little bit of unmixed stuff in there, but it's not too bad. I can smell the lemon, but since it is unsweetened, I'm going to go ahead and give this a taste now. 
It isn't really too bad. You could add uh, less water, I'm sure it'll be stronger, but this is what it called for. So what I'm going to do is add some of the sugar. 12 grams seems like it's more than I would need for the uh, tea. So I'll put some of it in here and see if this sweetens this up. Maybe Lithuanians like their drinks not very sweet, but since I'm an American, I can have a bit of a sweet tooth. I'll put uh, most of that in there. Save some for the tea. And let's try it with some sugar. It's a little bit better. It kind of uh, it tastes the same, but it has a, it's more of a pleasant kind of a uh, feeling going down. And some of the sugar hasn't totally mixed in, so it's kind of crunchy. So I'll give that a little bit more stirring. But I think that's about ready to go. All right, so the stove ended up being a very effective way to heat up the water. Uh, unfortunately, I had to turn the camera off for a while to uh, recharge the battery, but it did um, did extinguish. But while it was going, it had this thing going at a full boil. Now it's calmed down, obviously, but it's still very, very hot. And it was um, going for quite a while after it had boiled, too. And I was even able to put the honey on top of the pan and um, liquefy that. So that seems to be ready to go. Well, it's definitely ready to go because it's past boil. And the entree seems to be ready to go too. It still has some good heat in there. Let's go ahead and do the tea. steep for a while. Let me check out the entree. There's some heat on the bottom of this. It's worked its way through pretty good. This is very warm. It's hot. Feels like it's hot all the way through. It's nice. I don't seem to see any notches on here for opening, so I guess I'm gonna have to cut this one. It's smelling already. Interesting. It's like a little loaf in there. Better try and break it up a little bit. It smells really good. It reminds me of something from one of the other international rations, but I'm not sure what. All right, and here is our stewed pork with grotas and sauce. Stewed pork with groats and sauce. The sauce is not very saucy. It's uh, this. Um, I'm expecting more of a, a liquidy kind of a stew. It certainly looks hearty. Um, I guess these white things here. Yeah, here we go. It's the groats. And the pork is just a. Uh, it's like a minced minced pork. It smells kind of uh, like a canned sort of uh, almost like a potted meat kind of a thing. But it smells like it's got a lot of flavor to it. I can see it looks like carrots here. So there's probably some veggies in with this um, with this sauce. But here is what it looks like. I'll give it a try. Yeah, that's good. Um, the groat sauce um, doesn't have a heck of a lot of flavor to it. it doesn't seem to. But uh. The pork itself is pretty flavorful. See some oil down there. Um, so mixed up, this is um, 
This is pretty tasty. It, it definitely has a, a taste of a, a ration. Uh, you know, it's, it may be like a, a standard kind of a Lithuanian dish. Uh, it's not something that I'm really familiar with, though. But I think it's very good. I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying it does, it does taste like it's a ration, which is what it is. But I also think it's very good. I'm certainly planning on finishing this. And I do get the feeling that this is something that you would certainly want heated up. Rather than eating it cold. There's one more look. More taste. Mm, it's very tasty. It may have the appearance of uh, kind of like a dog or cat food, but it tastes a lot better than that. Let's try our biscuit here. See how hard this thing is. Wow, that's really hard. Wow. The thing doesn't want to break. That's good. It's a little bit, a little bit hard on the teeth, but uh, tastes good. The caraway seeds certainly add a little bit of flavor to the uh, cracker, which would otherwise be pretty bland. And then I'll try it with some of this honey. And that adds a very nice sweetness to it. And you know what honey tastes like, and that's what that tastes like. So I guess as long as you don't break your teeth, you're in good shape. Seems like a natural to try some of this pork dish on here. So we'll do that. And that's very good. And now that I've softened up the honey, melted it, you can now just dip the crackers in there. Look, this tea is ready. Let me just add the rest of the sugar to that. Not much in there, but... I'll give that a try. That tastes good, and it's nice and hot. Try some of these hazelnuts. I can't really say I recall eating hazelnuts very often. I like hazelnut spread like Nutella. Let's see what the nuts themselves taste like. This is good. It's a nice little change for peanuts. A little on the bland side since they're not uh, sweetened or salted or anything like that. But um, they're fine. And then the last thing we have is the, uh, the chocolate. Tastes like a good chocolate. It's nice, uh, somewhat dark chocolate. And I'll wash it down with some of the uh, lemon beverage with the uh, sugar added. And that's good. It has um, it's sort of a, even a more of an artificial flavor than the ones in the US uh, drinks, I think. It's certainly something that I drank, but it does have a little bit of that dishwasher detergent kind of a taste that I had mentioned before. Overall, it's a very good meal. This was a look at a Lithuanian military ration, number four, stewed pork with groats and sauce. Thank you for watching.